Thomas Express Tutorials. If this is your first time here, then we're just figuring it out one video at a time. If you have been watching my videos for a little while or from the beginning, then thanks for coming back. If you're watching this because you saw that this was a Glam and Gore Bellamy Wigs video and you love my geek, hello zombies. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, unboxing these wigs, obviously, and then also we're going to talk about how to apply the wigs. I'm definitely a beginner at putting on wigs, so I mean I've, I've been watching a lot of videos about how to put on wigs and people putting on these wigs, like I said this video <laughs> should have been put out so long ago. Um, <laughs> I am the worst YouTuber. It's fine. But yeah, so I'm going to give you some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way as well as some tips and tricks that uh, my friends have told me. This video is so late, like, I like I don't even know really, honestly, how popular, if anyone's going to watch this, because I got these wigs in November, actually, I think, well, we'll get into that. So we will start by looking, uh, looks like there's dust on this, like, that's how long I've had it for. This is what the box looks like. It has the Glam and Gore symbol logo on it as well as the Bellamy logo, and it looks really nice because it's black and white and silver and red. Those are colors. <laughs> Contents in this box. One, high heat resistant synthetic wig. So this wig is synthetic if you were curious. I know, it looks so weird. One wig cap, which I didn't realize uh, when putting this on, but I forgot to wear the wig cap, but it still looks so nice and flat. One wig brush, one wig stand, and one anti-static storage dust bag. Let's open this up. It looks like this. You see the beautiful Mikey right here. She looks so good. And I think it's the same picture on the inside of all of them. Okay, I haven't opened the third one. Oh, that's facing towards me. Yeah, it is. So, like to be. She's not wearing the red wig in this one. It comes also with instructions, so maybe you'll get to hear my wonderful reading again, and I'll read that to you, because that will help. Um, and then also, oh, the wig that I'm wearing is Reagan. All of these wigs are based off of female horror movie women and children. The one that I'm wearing right now is Reagan, and that is from The Exorcist, so I'm going to read this little blurb that she wrote, because... I just want to have you listen to my reading. It says, Reagan is named after the charming little girl from The Exorcist, the movie that first sparked my love of all things gore, or gory. Uh, so that's really nice. I mean, maybe not nice. That's probably not the right word. <laughs> but that's really interesting. Reagan is a mix of sandy and platinum to give you that perfect California blonde. I'll get the damage and upkeep. Wear her out. Sure, turn pets. Not living in California. It's pretty cool to have that California look, I guess. The top, it does have the shadow root, so it's a little bit darker, and then it goes into the platinum, so it makes it look more natural. Pretty cool. So that's Reagan. Moving forward to actually unbox this. Here is the wig, which we are going to do a last. Here is the brush, which is weird because it's different from the brush that came in the blonde wig one. So um, I don't know if like people are getting different brushes or if it's just, I don't know, but here it is. Tip number one, if you breathe, your wig will get naughty. Tip number one is to use a wig comb and not use your actual comb because that will actually mess up the hair on your wig. Okay, so this is the new comb that is in with the Carrie wig. Looks like this, it's pink and black colors. It doesn't have a little bumpy part that regular brushes have. This is the wig stand that came with it. Pretty cool, pretty slick, sleek. So it came like this, three parts, and then, uh, then you put it together and then it's great, but you can take it on trips with you and put it in the bag. Here is the wig cap. Let's open like the top and the bottom. 
Here is the nice bag, the storage bag. So if you want to take it on a trip with you, it's really nice. It's like silky soft and black and white colors. In opening these, I realized that I don't have any more sand, but it's been so long that I don't know if they would still send them to me. A little concerning. What should I do guys? Now the very exciting part of opening this wig. Look at that red though. And it has a little, some netting around it to keep it nice. Ready? <gasps> Woo! Here it is. Yo, she's here. She's live. This hair is crazy. Oh my goodness. And like, the thing is, even though it's synthetic hair, like it's, it feels like really nice conditioned hair. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, here it is. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to try this on. Let's read, so this wig is called Carrie. Carrie says, there's nothing more glam and gore than a prom queen covered in blood. That's why this wig is named after the horror classic, Carrie. Carrie was carefully tweaked to get the perfect shade of my favorite color, blood red. Rock this one and feel truly gorgeous. I feel like I also want to read what she says about these wigs. There's directions about washing it, so none of this is about putting it on. What you want to do is this is a lace front wig. I know there are different types of wigs, so every video that I watched, like they had already cut this out, which was super annoying. Um, so I'm going to actually do this somewhat on camera, probably edit it a little bit, but what you want to do when cutting the lace front is just like cut it in intervals because one, you don't want to cut too much and two, you don't want to get like too excited and then like mess it up. I am left handed. First cut. I did it! And like I'm cutting really close to the hair, but not on the hair. Like once again, you don't want to cut the hair off. I also am not wearing my glasses right now. That's also a problem. So we're halfway through, cutting really close. I mean, I probably can go in a little bit closer. <sighs> my heart is racing at like a million miles an hour. You want to make sure that like the line that you're cutting is really straight. Also, let me not cut my wig hair. Maybe I should put this back. <sighs> All right, hair safety first. Big chunk. Woo, bye, bye. So here is my first like cut through. Got pretty close to the hair, but like not actually on it. I think I'm gonna go through just one more time and just make sure it's the best looking that it can be. Okay, and I'll be right back. Here I am with the wig on. Hey. I just brushed it out and like literally look how much hair I lost. So I will say that is one thing. You lose a lot of hair with these wigs. I don't know really with other wigs, but that's a lot of hair. Okay. I'm gonna take this off actually. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I'm gonna go from the back. Pretty easy. I didn't pin it. Okay, find my clips in the front. Down. Oh, I'm stuck, but I'll figure it out. Oh, got it. Ha ha, yay! Now I don't know where to put this because I don't have a thing. I stand for it. Actually, I forgot. I have an extra one of these. Um, you can buy these on Amazon. I think they're really cheap, maybe like two or three dollars. This one says Judy. That's my mom's name. Here, take this pin out. Oh, sorry, Judy. Silence of the Lambs. I know, shame on me. Um, okay, resume. Yep. 
You've been misquoting that your whole life. Clarice is sweet as a peach, but don't let that cute rose gold bob fool you. If she invites you over for dinner, it's probably best to decline. Let's put this on. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. If we look at the inside, see all the lace? Um, so it has one clip on the back, three clips on the front. It also has like a bra strap. I don't know. To go with it, so I guess like for the tightest pinching, I don't know, clip it together like a bra. So it has these little loops so you can decide how tight you want it. I think there are there, uh, there are three loops. So I'm gonna put mine on the tightest loop because I just want to have a headache. Because, but I want it to be secure. I feel like I do the same thing with my bra. I just put it on the tightest one because I have small boobs and I don't want it to fall off. So my hair is shorter, so it's gonna be a little bit easier, but you want your hair to be as flat as possible. So that means that maybe you might, like some people will braid it, or you know, just put it in a little bunch. You want it as flat as possible. I even straightened my hair today. Not that it's like super curly. Before I had 12 bobby pins in my hair, and what I did was just flatten the hair. And then get these baby hairs. What I like to do, get all the hairs out of the way, I'm going to take this back clip, the clip in the back where the tag is, duck my head down, bend down. I hope you can still see me. Try to kind of put my head in it. No, just kidding. Put the clip right in the center and the back of my head. Really clip it in there. Then I take the front, try to find the clip, one, two, and then just clip it into my head. Right, and then like once you put it on, it just like takes some styling. Okay, and here it is. Nice and wiggy and yeah, wiggly. -like. Unlike the other wigs, I didn't have to brush through this hair at all. Like it just is naturally wavy, curly, cute, and perfect. That was pretty lucky. I just pinned it underneath, and look, it still looks natural dyed natural like this is my hair not that it's a wig i guess the only thing that i want to say like i'm not going to glue this down because i don't know i think that the clips are pretty sturdy so i don't know it's not moving yeah we're good but if you did want to you are you want to put it on the lace and not on your hair and not on your hair line um i'm going to show you the back of my hair so that you can see that it also looks legit in the back You can find the roots and put concealer on it uh, just to make it blend in and look more natural, more real to your skin color. If you end up getting it on the wig hair, then you can put eyeshadow on and just match it to the wig. Okay, Violet's making her first YouTube appearance. Hi, Violet. Because uh, she just loves to make so much noise when we film and here you go. The real star of the show. Okay, here, but I'm gonna let her go back to jingling. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which wig is your favorite. And if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe so you can get more videos, maybe like this, maybe like something else. I don't know. Share this video with a friend. If you would like to follow me on social media, you can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And my Happens Express tip of the day is, if you're going to do a photo shoot outside and it is winter or it is cold or you were just cold-blooded and it's cold, make sure that you bring a blanket because it is easy to take off and put back on and then you won't hopefully catch a cold. Okay, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye!